Hey, yep. Some people have been complaining that there isn't enough Triumph content on this channel recently. Which, yeah, granted, that's true. But the good news is that Moton Customs are just in the process of unveiling a whole new range of custom parts for the Triumph Bonneville Bobber range. Now, granted, this has taken quite some time, but some of these custom parts are part of a range of custom parts which can be used as standalone parts but are also designed to be used in conjunction with other parts that Moton is going to release soon. In particular their new range of seats. Now before we jump into that rabbit hole Moton asked me to just let you know that their latest iteration of the Talon clutch actuator cover for the older air-cooled Bonnevilles and T100 Bonnevilles is now available in brass and very nice it is too this is actually a late stage prototype that I fitted to the T100 about a year ago now cast in solid brass this is of course an answer to the prayers of all the old Bonneville owners that have been complaining there aren't enough brass parts available for their bikes this is of course still available in the older version, the die-cast aluminium iterations, and I'll leave a link for it in the video description down below. Now, one of the things that Moton Customs have become famous for over the last few years is their better than factory replacement seats. In various designs for both the older air-cooled bikes and the new water-cooled bikes. Now, a custom seat for the Bonneville Bobber presents some technical challenges. On the other Bonneville models, the seat pan simply rests on the seat rail, which of course doesn't exist on the Bobber models. It just has a very narrow cast aluminium seat spar that it sort of perches upon. So if you made the seat pan for the bobber out of ABS injection moulded plastic, it wouldn't end well. So the seat pan has to be made the old fashioned way from pressed steel. Now the development of these seats has been going on for some two or three years. I know Sam at Moton tested various thicknesses of steel seat pans. And from what I remember, it opened up a whole can of worms. Now, what it boils down to is two or three things. Safety is an issue because it's a seat. It's got to do its job and it's got to do it properly. Stock grids of sheet steel vary enormously from one thickness to another. With 2.5mm steel being the most freely available and the cheapest, and on paper it should be strong enough, but when Moton tested it they found it was too flexible and occasionally on rough roads it was flexing enough to scuff the rear fender on the bobber. Therada's life depends on the integrity of this seat pan, so obviously it needed to be thicker, but that presented another problem, because Moton's metal press wasn't up to the job of pressing the desired shapes on anything thicker than 3mm. And Sam decided for these seats to be absolutely 100% safe, they would have to use 4mm sheet steel. So I had to invest in a whole new set of machinery for the job. As you're probably aware, Moton Customs have a tradition of naming their seats after snakes. And the seat that I'm going to show you today is part of their Cobra range, this being the King Cobra. And there are two other versions, the Khan Cobra and the Kaiser Cobra. The seat pan is made from a near bulletproof specification 4mm sheet steel, pressed to a computer design shape for ultimate reliability and safety. It's then protected against corrosion by a very thick and high quality powder coating, and the seat cover itself, as you can see, is held in place with rivets rather than glue. Now, you will notice that there are various strategically placed threaded holes in this seat pan, and these have been put there to take into account the upcoming range that Moton is going to release of custom lighting and indicator options that can be fastened directly underneath the seat. Which, in conjunction with Moton Customs' custom rear fender options, which are also soon to be released, 
will allow owners to tidy up the back end of the bobber and the bobber black and get rid of that ugly late cluster that's been bugging everybody for the last four years. And this seat kit comes complete with stainless steel fasteners. I understand why Triumph have done it, but personally I've always thought that the standard factory seat is a bit on the large side for what it needs to be. A Moton have slimmed it down somewhat to make it more in proportion with the bike. The stock seat has a sort of angular look that I've never thought really gels with the general look and feel of the bike. So Moton have created a more curved seat for a more traditional classic and aesthetically pleasing look in line with all other Moton seats they've used a high quality weatherproof vinyl which is impeccably finished stitching is excellent and there are three stitch designs to choose from as I say this is the King Cobra and full adjustability as per the factory seat is retained right fitting now i sort of feel like i'm insulting people's intelligence by going through it blur by blur but i did film it so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to let the fitting procedure play out starting now and while you're watching that i will remind you that all viewers of this channel get an exclusive 12 percent discount on any Merton product purchased from Merton's official website by means of an exclusive discount code, which I'll leave in the video description down below, along with links to the seats that I've shown you today.
and that's all there is to it. I feel a bit lazy sort of uh, presenting the video that way, but you know, it's simple, it's straightforward, and you don't really need me talking all the way through it and explaining the obvious. It's a straight swap. I've heard it said that Motone custom seats are the benchmark by which all others should be judged, and in my opinion, this bobber seat is no exception. And I'll provide all necessary links in the video description down below. Once again, thank you very much for taking the time to watch this and my other videos, and in doing so, helping to support this channel. I really do appreciate it. I would also be very grateful if you would consider leaving a like, and if you're not already a subscriber to this channel, hit the subscriber button. It doesn't cost you anything, and it's reversible if you decide you don't like my content. It helps me out, and it's the polite thing to do. I am, of course, going to be back on Friday, so until then, please, ride safely, and I'll see you soon. Thank you.